to feel the anger at times I feel, and I know it's out of exhaustion. That hurts me. But that's, that's the hardest part. Watching the stories, such as we have just viewed uh, in the presentation that you've made, you cannot help but have your heart just pound at what they're going through the tears that must be shed every day. From her office in Los Angeles, longtime Congress member Maxine Waters is responding to the first in a series of stories about the cost of care. At this point, would you even be able to afford a round-the-clock caregiver for her? No. The series looks at the life-altering costs families across the country face that have loved ones living with Alzheimer's and dementia. As long as it's necessary, you know, I want to do what I need to do. We must help caregivers. We must do more uh, to assist these families. Uh, not only are families going broke, but the time that must be pit must be put into uh, this care is such that uh, people can't go to work every day. Uh, they can't do much of anything. According to the Alzheimer's Association, more than 100,000 people in San Diego are living with dementia. Across the country, that number is more than 7 million. It's estimated that Alzheimer's and other dementias will cost the United States $345 billion this year. It's a dollar amount experts say lawmakers can't afford to ignore. Due to the financial impacts of this, do you think the system to take care of people is broken? I don't know if I would say it's broken because broken sort of assumes that at some point it was built and then it fell down. It's never developed. We've never developed a system to deal with a disease like dementia without a treatment. When you hear it being described as a patchwork of systems across the country, do you believe the federal government needs to come in and try to fix that so everything is equal? Oh, absolutely. Um, I heard her and I heard, I think, um, the question that she was answering. And it is not that the system has failed us. The system has never been in place. We don't have it in place. Uh, to deal with caregiving and uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. We have not in this country of ours really developed from the federal level, working with the states, the kind of resources that are needed, just caregiving. This is so important. Congress member Linda Sanchez echoes Waters' feelings, saying it's time for lawmakers to step in. It is an issue that the federal government needs to be concerned about because uh, our population is aging. Um, people are living longer than ever before. For Sanchez, the push for federal assistance to patients and their family is personal. Both of my parents suffered with Alzheimer's. My father passed from Alzheimer's and my mother currently suffers with the disease. And I've just seen how devastating it can be for families and how difficult it is for family caregivers. Both Sanchez and Waters have proposed several new laws to help with caregivers and treatment. The proposals would encourage early assessment and diagnosis of Alzheimer's and related dementias, expand aid to caregivers, and create training and support services for families with loved ones living with memory loss. That is just heart-wrenching. After watching our story, Representative Maxine Waters had this message to her colleagues in Congress who haven't supported her efforts. We need to put the money up that's needed to do it. And we're just going to have to, you know, get more confrontational about it and really demand, make more demands and call them out and see what we can do. You can't lump this in when we've got to cut back on government. It's not fair.